Outlander Season 3's final aired a week earlier. This week in Outlander history, Droughtlander began as we waited for the fourth season to air. Droughtlander. It's a word we all hate. There's this excruciating wait for the next season of the show we love and that started this week in Outlander history in 2017. It's also worth noting that this week in history, we were still going through the first ever Droughtlander we'd experience. Season 3 was the hardest for me. This was the first season I'd watched live with everyone else. Despite knowing about the show and the books before this point, I'd only put the series on Netflix Canada during the summer months as something to binge while waiting for my own shows to return. And yes, I was immediately hooked. Honestly, I think this is something many people did. After all, the third season live ratings were up substantially from the second season. The show started to get more press attention and there were more people intrigued by this third season that would see one of the hardest books to adapt because of Jamie and Claire's 20-year separation. So, more of us went through Droughtlander for the first time. Fortunately, we had the short 10-second teaser for the fourth season and the filming was still going on. We had the chance to get spoilers of the storyline if we wanted. Those who had just found the series also had the chance to read the books. But it didn't make Droughtlander that easy. This is a poignant time to look back at a Droughtlander starting. This week, Stars released its January listings and we got the official warning that Outlander Season 4's finale will air on January 27. That means a long Droughtlander is ahead, longer than the Droughtlander we started this week in Outlander history last year. 